Penny, dreadful city of angels, dead people lie down. Magda, previously on Penny Occult, city of angels. Now open your arms, sister. I'll give you many souls today. You are the first Shiniko detective in Los Angeles Police Department. I guess I should say, welcome to Homicide Detective Vega. Townsend of Transportation. Transport Committee has voted in favour for the Arroyo Sector motorway. Construction will continue Monday morning. This is our home. We will fight for it. What we want is to make you the mayor of Los Angeles. I won't betray my country. Richard, of course you will. Dramatic music. Santa Monumio Mortier. There is a prophecy. A time will come. A race to devour race. Crowd shouting. Santa Marie Morente, and brother will kill brother. We all know Santa Morente until not a soul is left. Respirator hissing, clicking. Woman speaking indistinctly over PA. Indistinct conversation. Smooches. Whispering prayer in Spanish. Ominous music. Sorrow and wailing. The indistinct chatter sighs. Man, get out of here. Get out of the way. Hey, hey, hold on. I can do this. Go home. Riley, no, 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 no. No fucking way this cunt goes inside. You want me to bleed to death? All over your brogues. Get out of the way. Spits. Lewis, you, Trajago. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Come on, really, Riley. Easy. Officers talking. Not here. You're all right. Lewis, my back swing's screwed, but yeah. Who shot you? Did you see? Shit, no. I was calling in inside my own tush. Trying to hide. So much tear gas everywhere. Who the fuck saw anything? Four fucking dead cops and no one saw anything. Lancashire lost a goddamn eye. How many dead Mexicans don't fucking don't fucking even? Then you get patched up. Then you two come and see me. This needs sorted out. You hear me? To find your go find your family. Grunts softly. I'm fine. Sighs. Grunts. Innocent chatter. Lewis, you know who shot you? No, I don't. Neither do you. No one saw anything? No one did anything? One, No one shot anybody? You hear me, partner? Oh, groans. Give me my flask, huh? Little rattling. Thank you. I don't want to be thanking you. Go to your family. I will. I like to drink cologne. Instinct chatter. Sighs. We're in. Woman whimpering. Sober music. Woman sob- sobbing. Shrieking. We took care of the officers first, of course. But got to him without much delay. He was swelling in the brain, so he had to open his skull to release the pressure. Is the bullet still in his? It glanced off his skull, but bone fragments shattered and lodged in his brain. But is he still? Is he alive? Being kept alive. Look, I'm sorry, but you have to start making plans. You have to move him from the respirator. When? Two, three days. At the most, I'm sorry, Maria. Praying in Spanish, Josephina crying, respirator hissing, Maria pregnant, whispering prayer in Spanish, breathing shakenly, take open for slushing. Easy, easy, it's okay, Josephina grasping, it's Kelly, Adamar, Tequila, Tequila, Mento, Josephina sniffing, into St. Chatter, look what they did to him, Mama. How about I call Father Nerizu? He's not gonna die. No, Senor. Mama, the doctor and I talked and he let me tell you what I know. Two floors up, right in the hospital. I brought him into this world. He will not die here. Maria exhales sharply. Maria's praying in Spanish. Stay with her. I'm gonna call Father Nerizu. And I saw what you did. If he dies, you're not part of his family. Dramatic music. Door creaks open, closed, breathing heavily, some softly. 
fended off. So now we're looking from at a Mexican uprising. Come on, don't you think that? Don't, don't. We have a white family from Beverly Hills butchered in some kind of voodoo ritual. Now we have a mob of Mexicans shooting down cops in the street. So you all need this resolved and resolve it. We shall. How do we know? How did we do that, sir? Need to conclude a handsome let case. Follow up on the victims. Do any fucking thing you want, but bring me a Mexican head on a plate. Any Mexican head? Just to be clear. You want us to conclude the Kazlet case, not solve it? That is entirely correct. We swing by my place and I'll change. Then, it sounds deeply, what the hell do we do then? We know the Hadzlet wasn't killed at the house. But we know the places he went, his office, the temple, the construction site, the country club. Neighbours said he didn't drink, didn't smoke, didn't run all around with women. Who goes to trouble moaning someone so fucking boring? He was a goddamn choir boy. Now maybe we ought to check out the choir. Chris, music, sizzling. Well, the transportation committee is well and truly fucked. Excuse my French. How do you, how do you say that, sir? The Maru Serenko's finished. The Spix took care of that. And when uh, with Hazlitt dead, we got no one to build a damn thing anyway. Don't don't we know? A firm with your best interests at heart, perhaps. What what is the matter, Alex? After today is too politically sensitive. No one will touch it. I'll go back to the zoning goddamn crosswalks in Torrance. Forgive me for saying so. The four dead officers isn't just isn't just a tragedy, it's an opportunity. The people in this city are terrified right now. They're looking at knocking their doors and turning off out their lights, scared the gunners are going gonna hack them to pieces with their machetes. What the people need is a champion to defend their interests, to be their voice, to channel their fear and anger to something constructive. Like the motorway? It's not just a motorway anymore. It's a symbol. I don't I did not want to get, I, I did want to get on the radio more, even more so the newsreels. Oh, look, pudgy on tip camera. Oh, well, take care of that, your honour. We can't exploit a bunch of dead cops for politics. Not exploiting, honouring, healing, phone rings. Now drink that down like a good boy. Hello, Underwood, thank you. Distant, siren wailing. Go ahead, Mr. Nicholas. You need a moustache trimmed as well, if you please. Yes, madam. It's quite music, people talking distinctly. Thank you, go. So this is Hazlitt's church, Lewis. A little gro- gro- grotesque, grotesque, for my taste. The yellow dresses are nice. Though, we don't affect exactly fit in. Cops never fit in. That's why we're cops, Lewis sighs. Come on, partner. Let's buy in some snake oil. You think... She's a fraud. I think everyone's a fraud. Woman, welcome to Joyful Mercy's ministry. May I help you, gentlemen? Clear his throat. We need to see Sister Molly. I'm sorry, that's impossible. What did you say to me? We just need a few moments for the time, Plit, sir. That's all. I'm sorry she's preparing for her service. Son, she'll be preparing for a fucking search warrant if we don't see her in the next two seconds. Let me, let me get Miss Adeline. Dramatic music, machines clicking. My daughter is a communion with the Lord. Propriety to her summon, sermon. I will not allow you to serve her. Lewis Shaw, communicating with the Lord. I get it. Tell us about James Hazlitt. He passed, his passing was a great loss to the temple. Uh-huh. Did he have any some kind of job here? Why do you inquire? It's a simple question, madam. He was a deacon of your, of, you know, your, our organisation, our various obligations, commensurate to that position, such as he's one of our bursars, one of the money guys, must have been a busy fellow. Without donations of faithful, we cannot carry out our good works. It, I'm all in. I'm all for good works, detective. I don't know what more I could say. Mister Hazlitt was a valued member of the church. There's nothing more to add. Did he have an? Office here. Well, he was a construction business down as a construction business downtown. But did he have an office here for personal work? 
Yes, but the public is not allowed back here. There. Now, if you excuse me, then how about you show me just real quick. My partner will stay here. I just need to take a gander at this thing. At these things. Got to be, got to be thorough, dear. You wouldn't believe all the forms I have to fill out at the back of the station. My paper, my life is paper. Everybody thinks that. Soft music, jazz, jazz music plays on speaker. Man of a PA, please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll hear shortly. Innocent chatter in the other room. Man of PV, PA, of PA. Ladies and gentlemen, and radio listeners across this land, we thank you for the attendance. Now prepare to feel the power of the Lord and take flight the magical wings of our blessed angel. Crowd applauding. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to a righteous, silly mo- sister, Molly in the battle with Satan. Armed with mutter song and a smile, ladies and gentlemen, your own silly mo- sister Molly. Cheers, applause, spotlights, clanging, mouthing words. Yesterday, I met a gentleman on the street. A gentleman he was, fine tailor suit, sharp arrow collar, a ten dollar fisherman's. And he said to me, sister, I, wa- I want you, t- you call a diplomat. I travel all over the world. Look high and low for the Lord. But where is he? I didn't find him in Ranagoon. I didn't find him in Sergres. I didn't even find him in Desert Maurice. Laughter. Where the heck is he hiding? Laughter. Well, I was enthralled. I dip my map, my word. That's the first for me, jazz piano, music plays. So I said, brother, tell me more. And this is what he said to me. I've flown around the world in a plane. I said of revolutions in Spain. North Pole I have charted. I can't get started with you. Around the golf course I fell under par. And all the movies won't want me to star. I've got a house, a showplace. But I've got no place with you. You're so supreme. Doesn't she have a pretty voice? I keep meaning to pick up her record albums. I think, uh, very free, right? Sister Molly, sister seemed muffled. Miss Aslett. Have any enemies? It was Mexicans, wasn't it? Sure it was. Just got to close all the T's. He did he have any enemies? Not for my knowledge. Did you ever go to his by his house? We didn't socialise with our conjurants. Never not never. Uh huh. That makes sense. I'm gonna borrow these, clear throat. Fud books fud. There's a there's a problem with that, madam. Listen here, Heavenly. You may think you know what you're doing here, but believe me, you don't. This is the Lord's house. We are sacrificed in the blood of the lamb. Right now I'm a little more concerned with the blood. Those two kids. Take a look, honey. Mr. Molly continues singing, but lately I have st- uh, how I smarted, because I can't get started with you. Oh no, I can't get started. You got me so downhearted. Oh no, I can't get started with you. Ho, ho, ho. Of course, I can't get started with you. Clears throat, clears them. Applause. You ever seen Bo Jess? What? Bo Jess? Bo Jess, the movie. There's three guys in the French Foreign Legion fought in the middle of the desert, and all those Arabs are about to attack. All the other soldiers are already dead, right? So they put the dead soldiers around the fort so the Arabs, who think that there's a shitload of them defending the place, it's come, right? That's what this case is. The body's all painted up and left in the LA River. Medicine crap. The words written in blood on the fucking wall. Come on. It's all too much. It's fake. So it's all a distraction. We never asked them one question. You're supposed to have. To who was going to something to gain? Who wanted a house that dead? Something to do with money. Five will get you ten. I start going through the, the, those and then swing by Hamlet office downtown to grab his records. Something's got to shake loose. I'll keep on Sister Molly. Find some way to talk to her privately. Take your time. Find the right moment. Slowly, slowly catch your monkey, right? Let him tell you, me tell you. I know when I'm being warned off. I leave with something to hide and pal. We're going to find out what. Wave crashes, birds squawking, indistinct chatter, waves crashing. Tom, I'm telling you, I don't look, doesn't, won't look right unless we have a parapet. Pur- pur- what well, the heck's a parapet? It's a wall up in the top of the places for soldiers. They're so ignorant. He's not ignorant, Tom. He's uninformed. Waves crashing. 
Trevor speak, speaks indistinctly. Stay here, boys. Trevor, mind your brother. You're going to the place. You got. Will you get me a yo yo? I will not. Wave crashes. Hello, Mrs. Brett Benson. Why, Dr. Kraut? Hello. What's a surprise? Yeah, for me, too. Trickles. Do you want. Don't you work on Mondays? My day off, you see. Ah, I have no taste for golfing. Yeah, the beach is where we go, Frank and me. The sun is good for him. You see, he's breathing. It is jar. I have. I'm here with my boy of wood. Would you like to join us? How kind of you are! Yeah, it's good for Frank to make a friend. We'll move. We'll right. We'll right over here. The here chuckles, giggles, rear praying in Spanish, respirator hissing. You can't be on the floor like that. It's unsanitary. Respirator hissing. Sighs. Hey, Jafina, sniffing. What a bottle pop! What a bottle pop! Sober music. I'll be right back, sniffles, crying, metallic jingle, footsteps approaching, crying. Riley, boo fucking who? Sniffles, what are you crying about? What? Sheen clangs, you heard me, boy? What are you crying about, uh huh? Poncho, some of the cops, your people killed today, huh? You could cry for them, you web back co- cocksucker. My partner got his fucking eye shot out, yeah. Grass whimpers, this eye. How's that feel? Fucking crying now. Fucking scream. Go on, scream for me. Officer Riley, I'd like to buy a soda pop. For, 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 not your problem. We go stay out of it. A grape, new me. Scoffs. There's four of us, pal. There's a city. There's a city of me. Traffic buzzing outside. One day we go. Smooch his machine wiring. Coin clicks. You don't. You didn't. Why didn't you scream? I was too busy pissing my pants. Chuckles. I'm fly Rico. You know me. Know me ease? Coin clicks, groans. My father calls upstairs. Easy, Paul. George Joe was here today. I told him not to go, but he wouldn't listen. So how? So now they're picking shotgun pellets from his uncle's skull ass. What are you doing here? My brother's here. You know the cat? Find me here, there. Why? As you didn't scream, your passage, your baby. Up, beat, beat, swing music. Peter, play nice, boys, huh? Be good. Frank, be nice. For Jess is foreign. For Jess. You, did you see that? No. In the middle of the desert, right? This is a fault. Trevor, those guys over there are all Arabs. They're the bad guys. And those guys are here. Well, the pulpit old, all, all dead. You seem to be lying down. And suddenly music. Dead people lie down. Trevor, well, they stood up to make the errors think a lot of them, a lot more good guys, okay, all dead. Trevor, geez, all right. Anyway, so these errors are getting ready to attack, Peter. It's not as good as everyone says, but all old books are the same after a while. Yeah, they are making the movie. They, that would be better. I was in Berlin after the war. You want to make a movie of that? That was, that's the same of in Ensign. Your old poor, old poor country is bled, has it not? Yeah. At least now we get up from our knees and stand. Where's your wife? Ways question. Ah, oh, my wife is uh, not comp- not c- complex as sunshine. She burns so? She too is, Mr. Benson. And he's a large man, so does not fit easy in the bathing clothes. Frank, I love the, I love, and I love the beach. Look at the ocean. You know, you are a dream of going, going anywhere, anywhere. So of a boat, Frank and me, to Titi. Maybe we'll go to Titi. All the while, I'm living in the basement of a shoe store with my baby sister. There was no food in Berlin. So we had to leave, leave or die in the street. Medical and music. We went to the country where there, there should have been food, but there were only soldiers. That's why I met Mr. Branson. Not handsome, he was not handsome as usual. He was fat even then, voice breaking, but he had food. I needed food. Sniffles, forgive me. I'm nothing but a silly woman. Oh, not at all. Why should? Why wouldn't you want to sail away one day? And would you go? Where, where would you go, Doctor? Yeah, I think Tahiti for me too. Why is crashing? You sure I can't give you a ride? It is no trouble. You are too kind already, Frank. 
Please thank Dr. Graf for the yo-yo. Thank you, Doctor. My pleasure. Oh, so then I am. Um, I'll see you in the office on Friday. Yeah? Yeah. Goodbye, then. Say goodbye to your friends, Frank. Mm-hmm. Bye, Roger, Tim, Tom. Bye, Trevor. It's really fun playing. Elsa loves this quality music. Come along, boys. Metallic music playing. Camera shutters clicking. 27 years old. Dramatic music. 27 years old. Officer Meland West. This is how they murdered him. This is his widow, Mrs. Gloria West. They have a four-year-old boy at home. His name is Nicholas. His mother will be, have to sit down with him tonight and tell him we'll never see his father again. God forbid we forget that. The City of Angels has never lost four police officers a single day. The animals that assassinated Officer Weddus and his brothers must be brought to justice for this city can no longer live under the shadow of their anarchy. They sure they fired first. They shot our boys down in cold blood. They had no mercy. We can show none to them. That every Mexican in Los Angeles know this will not stand. And what was the cause? Why did they kill Officer West? Why did they leave Nicholas without a father? Not for money, not for food. They did it because of road, a motorway they didn't like. Well, I say that very word must just must now be a symbol for something larger. It's our golden pathway to the future. No pack of dogs will stop it. Tomorrow I will introduce a motion to the city council to rename the West Memorial Motorway for Officer West for all of us. I build this road, camera shutters clicking. I build this road in sync chatter. In sync chatter continues. Dishes clink, water splashes, water splashes. Is the mummy? My name is Dr. Detective Sandro Vega. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I can. Uh, of course. May I continue? Yes, madam. I'm here about James Hazlitt. You knew him? I understand. That's right. He's a um, click tongue. Was a deacon at, uh, at our temple. A fine tall man. I feel he's lost greatly. He was involved in the finances, wasn't he? Said the sister for Molly. I believe so. And my mother oversees that part of the business. I do the other things. Yes, I know that. I saw you earlier today. This clinks. How was I? A oh, great. The songs were great. Everyone likes the tunes. Plates clattering gently. Do you think he was tall? Hmm? Mr. Hadlett. He said he was a fine tall man. I meant tall and up in upstanding. That's what I meant. Hmm? Do you know him well? Oh, not especially. Ah, he had dinner, dined at his house once last year. Oh, no, no. It was a year before, my mother and I. We found it difficult getting close to the parishioners. Why is that? Dishes clangs. They become attached to Mr. Hazlitt. Last no, he was always very level-headed. Even killed, I say. But as I say, huh? we don't like to get too friendly. These things become attached. Aren't they attached to you anyway, your parishioners? Well, to the temple, not to me. In that woman on the stage or the voice on the radio. Otherwise, I don't really exist, chuckles. Hey, fella, get back to the truck. That's no, fine. We're just talking. Go on, Ralph. We, he's here to protect my virtue. Fish fuds. How come you're not out front where your more people can see you? Oh, well, it's because of, it, it, it becomes a distraction. Too famous, it seems. I like it back here. Why is that? You're a detective? Chuckles, it's quite back, quite back here. It's my my life is was busy. I tour, I do radio show, and record the songs. I can't, don't get into it for all that. My calling is pastoral. I just want to help people. Same reason you chose to join the police force, I suppose. I guess so. You're not sure? No, I'm sure. I have much of a didn't have much of a choice really. Well, I've had I mean a rival circuit when I was four. They would sing a song. She would pass the hat, lullabies, and the Lord. We went from town to town, all over and over Nebraska. Sooner or later, the faith just joined Joyce, faith just found me. Here you've been, have you been saved, detective? Are you offering? Ah, can you have, get me those plates? And Anton, you read the paper? They say it's going to be Betty Davis now. Betty Davis, this is a, that, this is a teenage 
heaps of mail. Explain that to me. I can't even lift a damn book. It's so heavy. Civil War. Poof. I can't care. All I'm saying is that they okay, cast Betty Davis. I'm out. What do you have against Betty Davis? It's Principal Lewis. Casting a movie is like t- trading trousers. You've got to be specific on a leg, a seam, a seam and a cuff on the brake. I get it. You cannot tell me that Betty Davis is an 18-year-old son of film, a virgin. The one who in, is no virgin, exactly. And how do you, how do you know this? You know how? Me, Scarlet. Or Betty Davis, Scarlet's a virgin, at least to start. Everyone's a virgin to start, Sam. It's held sharply. Six letter word meanings given to fright, scared. Starts to see, cowardly. No, six letters. Hey, hey. Here they come. Who's this? Anton. We've seen him before. He's new. What? They they met someone. They met someone inside, Dotty. He's just a kid. Camera shut. Clicks. I'm telling you, it's Lewis. You call. You should call the FBI. You think Hoover gives a shit about the Jews? Ask Emery, Emma Coleman. Call the army or something. I don't trust them. You, you, I trust more or less. So a bunch of old Jews are going to prevent, going to prevent the Third Reich invading America. We should be playing goddamn customer. Sam, you and Alton, take your car and follow the Nazis. They take the kid. What are you talking about? I'm a tailor, not Mr. Moto. Don't get too close. Stay in the other lane. Go on. Jeez, what's next? I'm sure they're just going to go in back to the ambassador. Don't worry. Go on. Come on. Instincts chirping. Peter grunting. Bogs barking in the distance. Both panting. Mystical music. Grunts. Loaning. Both braving heavily. Grunts. Both grunting. Grunting. Groaning. Panting. Don't embarrass me like that again. Anna calls the distance. I'm your wife, not your. Some poet, San Pedro tart. Animal calls in the distance. Yes, yeah, sorry. Insects chirping outside. Siren wolves in the distance. Whales in the distance. Sister Molly, his mother, asked me to visit him. He was the top floor of the hospital. Take the elevator all the way up. His room was way down at the end of the corridor. I went in. He was on an iron lung, looking up at me through the mirror. I told his mother I couldn't heal people. I told her that it's not within my power. She begged what happened. I prayed for him. He was so weak, he just mouthed the words. He was on the edge, you see. One more step more, and God would take him. I'm sure you brought him comfort. Son of music. I don't know what I did. I think, I think he saw through me. A dying of a special grace. I think she, he saw straight into my heart. Honestly, I didn't want him to live. I wanted to suffer an end for him to be with God, where he would walk again and be happy. I wanted, I wanted him to die. My brother's dying, sniffles. I'm, I'm so sorry. He's in the hospital. He's, we need him to um, sniffles. Take him, take him off the respirator. Probably tomorrow. Did you, do you pray for him? I really, I don't really do that. Do you believe in miracles? No. Do you believe in God? No. Are you sure? Size, what kind, what, when I was a kid, I, where I'm, mm, where's if my father died? I thought the saw Marit Santa Mariti. Are you sure you didn't? Suffer, syphilis. If your brother's on the edge, help him with it. Find grace. But find it yourself first. When a little boy looked up at me, I couldn't find that grace within myself, so I, how could I help him? What happened to him? Well, he died two days later. To, I had to go do a radio show that night. I went home and cut my wrists. If your brother dies, then come to me. Thank you, sister. Sighs. So please call me Molly. Molly is the woman on the stage. Sister is the main woman on the stage. And that's not you. This is me. I'm here every Monday. Up in my arse in dirty dishes. Warm music. Miss Adelaide. Molly Joan. A car is waiting. Molly. Mother, this is Detective Vega. We met. Come along now. Insects chirping. I, I must speak with my daughter again. Go through our lawyer. Car door closes. Car door slams. Engine turns over. Dramatic music. You're too close. What What do you want? I should, lo- should lose him? Sam, what the hell was he going, doing up there? Anton, going to, be, to the ambassador. Sam, does it look like he's going to the ambassador? He's going up, 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 up into the hills. Where are we? Pasadena. 
Who's the, who's going to notice two old Jews in Pasadena? Anton, you're too close. What the heck is he doing up here? He's going to do go deer hunting. Dotty, where's this now? College. Where now? Dotty, Dotty, turn off your ear. Turn up your ears. If college door closes, respiratory pressing the dreamy music. Maria crying, Holy Angel Mother of Dead, hear my plea, grass speaking Spanish, grass, whimper speaking Spanish, honest music speaking, Maria speaking Spanish, Maria crying, Sam Craven, what Craven? Six, let a word forgiven to fright, starts to see Craven, write it down, I'll go to tell, I've got to tell Dotty, what am I supposed to do, how am I, how am I supposed to do that? I've got no paper, the glove box, the glove box, I don't hey, 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 Maria, holy angel, mother of death, plea my plea. Maria, holy mother of death, hear my plea. Gun, silence, gunshots, dramatic music, tries crunching, tire car rumbling, explosion. Maria, praying in Spanish. Maria, crying, wishing. Maria, speaks Spanish, eerie music, in human growl. Eerie whispers, in human growl. Curtains flapping, curtains flapping, clicking, old groaning. Air wishes, sinister music, mysterious orchestra music. 